Today I want to talk about a simple way to keep down flies and help break down the weeds in the paddocks or pastures. Um, this is just going to be using just a simple drag. And a drag is basically just a flat piece of something or other, uh, whether it's an old gate, a uh, piece of fence, uh, something with a little bit of weight, but yet something that's going to knock down the weeds and uh, rough everything up a little bit. So basically, I have made a couple different drags. And the one I'll be using today um, has a couple pieces of angle iron welded to the bottom that I've sharpened the edges on. So as it's drug across the pasture, these sharp edges rip and tear different plant stems, such as maybe this uh, goldenrod or the iron weed here. And as it lays it over and tears the stems, you know, it's going to set it back as far as uh, the plant going to seed and uh, finish finishing what it wants to do, which is go to seed. We're mobbing these pastures right now with the herd to help break down the weeds and try and set them back. That way the grass has an advantage. Right now we're in the uh, midsummer and uh, the weeds have gained and got a major advantage right now. They've outgrown the gra pasture grass and they're kind of putting shade down on the lower part of the pasture. So we're mobbing this pasture or the pastures now so that the cattle will beat down anything that they don't eat. And then I come behind them, drag the pasture or the paddock with this simple drag that I've made. And uh, it knocks down the weeds that they didn't trample down. And another big advantage is it spreads out the cow patties. Um, this does a couple different things, spreading the cow patties. Um, flies need the manure to lay eggs in. Well, for some reason, when the manure is spread out thin and flat across the pasture, the flies don't go to it. They like the thicker patties for some reason. Now, I don't know the science behind this. This is just what I observe. Um, the other thing it's going to do is it's going to help fertilize better. Instead of having manure in big piles, you're going to help spread it out. So, if you do intensive grazing or rotational grazing of any sort, you've got these uh, paddocks broke down in your pastures. Don't, don't wrap your mind around uh, the whole idea of, gosh, you got to drag this whole pasture. Well, you're going to do it in sections. As the cows move to the next section, you do the one that they were in, so forth and so on until the whole pasture is done. So right now, you know, it's taking me an extra 15 minutes a day. Sure, that adds up at the end of the month or at the end of whatever, the year. Um, but, you know, we're working to get more better grass in here for the cattle and uh that's our ultimate goal so if 15 minutes a day does that i'm happy with that so let me get on to showing you what this drag does and how i use it and uh you know just use something you got don't go out and buy something if you can keep from it save your money and uh put the money where it's needed um, i just used some simple scrap that i had laying around the house um, and an old steel gate it ain't one of these cheap pipe gates this is actual steel like uh gas pipe i don't know it's, this is thick steel pipe gate that i have welded to it's not nothing flimsy so um if you can use something you got if not then you might have to buy something but look on craigslist or something like that so let me show you what this drag can do real quick Okay, so it took me roughly 15 minutes to drag it out, and as you can see, it looks a lot different. It laid down all the weeds that the cows did not eat. Some of them will stand back up, but I've noticed just by looking at the last paddocks, and this was three days ago, that a lot of them end up dying off. Which is a good thing. And as far as the manure, it's all spread out. This is the area it was really thick in, where it looked like they had bed down. And you can see I've just, it's spread all over the field now, or this paddocks. So that will help in future years uh, to get rid of the weeds by fertilizing. And a lot of the times these weeds grow because your soil content isn't the greatest. Um, liming. Adding lime to the pasture will make a difference, but that takes a few years to take effect. And also, I've heard um, 
adding, I believe it's granite dust, which you buy by the ton. It adds other minerals back to the soil. Once the soil it gets where it gets to where it needs to be, the weeds won't even grow because the soil isn't the right content for them. But anyway, spreading these manure patties out is going to help that, and it's also going to help with the fly control. Now, I'm going to walk over here and we're going to look at the cattle. Just to give you an idea how many face flies they have. Now, right at the moment, this is the only method I'm using for fly control. looking good their faces are nice and clear don't have a whole lot of flies on their faces now back earlier in the year before I started dragging the pastures the flies were horrible they were freaking horrible you would have an average of 30 to 50 flies around each cow's eyeball I don't know if it bothered them but it really bothered me I don't like to see that. I like to see them flyless, happy, and have plenty of grass to eat. So let's keep them happy. Control the flies, give them fresh grass daily, and the rest will happen by itself. Do you drag your pastures at all? Have you ever experimented with this? Was it a big help for you? Let me know, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching JC's Organic Farming.